so we are going to be cutting the back now so you fold your fabric into two then you roll your guideline then after that you make sure your zip allowance i'm going to be using one and a half for my zip allowance show down my waistline in inches and i'm going to hide my half inch seam allowance from the guideline i'm going to measure down my armhole length the same as i use in front i'm going to extend these lines on the waistline you go in by half inch then you blend it back this way okay so now the next thing you're going to do now is to input your measurement so on the guideline i'm going to input my shoulder measurement divided by two starting from this line that i rule so my shoulder is 16 divided by two that will be eight inches i'll mark eight inches i'll roll it straight down to the chest line your ham hole line is your chest line okay like this then i'll measure three inches starting from this line so that i can slant the shoulder then from here i'll come down by one inch then i'll connect it together i'll connect it together this way i'll add my seam allowance of half inch back to this line on my chest line, i'm going to input my boss circumference measurement divided by four my boss is 40 divided by four that will be 10. i'll measure the 10. don't forget my similar my measurement is starting from this line this line that i rule that's where i'm taking my measurement from then i'll add my same allowance then i'll come to the waistline i will input my waist circumference measurement divided by four my waist measurement is 32 divided by four that will be eight inches i'll mark eight inches then i'm going to be having that of one inch so i'll mark one inch for my dart and then i'll put my seam allowance then i'll connect the points together then i'll finish my ham hole i'll finish my ham hole here by just placing my french cuff to get a nice smooth cuff for my ham hole put my neck line so we use three and a half for the neck width in front you're going to be using the same three and a half for your neck width here then your neck depth depends on what you want but i'm going to be making mine to be two inches for the neck depth then i'll connect these points together can you see so the need to determine how you want your yoke to be so my yoke is going to be stopping here on the chest line on my chest line i'm going to go in word by four inches i'll go in word by four inches and i'll come up by four inches also like this then i'll create a cuff that is what i want for my yoke So this is going to be my yoke. So this is going to be my yoke. So this is going to be my yoke. My yoke is not going to be extending into the zip allowance. So I'm going to be having uh, some button loops here so that I can put button at this part. So my yoke is stopping here. Hope it's clear. So my yoke is going to be from here, up here like this. This is going to be my yoke. Then I'm going to be cutting this out. I'm going to be replacing this with my net and I'm going to be cutting this on my Ankara fabric. I want my, my corset to have zip at the back and I also want to have an eyelet there. So I need to measure my darts. So from this line, I'll measure my nipple to nipple distance divided by four. I'll roll it upward. Roll it upward. So I'm going to take that of half inch on both sides of this line. Half inch on both sides. Half inch here and also half inch here. So I'm going to be cutting this out now on my main fabric. So 
So my fabric is folded into two and I place my lining on top of it so that I can cut this. Only this lower part is what I'm going to be cutting on my Ankara fabric. This part I'm going to be cutting it out on my net. So for a better fit, I'm also going to be slanting. This is my center back here. Okay, this is my zip allowance and also my center back. So from here now, I'll go up by half inch and I'm going to slant it to the side seam so that the back can fit properly because I'm going to be having lacing at the back. It's not only zipper that I'm going to be using. So I'm using lacing at the back for the closure. So slant it to the side seam. This is just to create more fit at the center. So I'm going to cut this part off. Can you see? Then the next I'm going to do now, the next I'm going to do now is for me to slit this, my darts. I'm going to, sl to slice it because I'm going to be sewing it back and I'm going to be inserting what I'm going to be using to create my highlight later on in between those points so I'm going to slice it you cut off your dart so I just cut off my dart I didn't slice it all the way to the end but when I'm sewing I'm going to sew it all the way to the end so the reason why I did it like this is when I'm sewing this, I can know which part connects to which part. So I didn't cut it all the way through so that I will not come and mix the parts together. But if you like, you can slit it all the way through and label it. But this, my method is better for me because you don't need to worry about mixing the panels together. Don't forget you notch your zip allowance. Okay, so the back is ready. This is the down part of the back. So I'm going to be cutting this, my yoke. I'm going to be cutting it out on my lace. So let me trim it off. is how this part is can you see this is how it is so i would notch this point so that's easy for you to attach this one back to this place okay so place your notch here and place your notch here okay and also here even though you're going to be you're still going to be sewing this part but just place your notch so that you can know so that you can know where to start connecting this one back to this when you're ready to join them all back okay so it's going to be like this so i've cut this on my lace fabric so i'm going to be fold folding my lace fabric into four folds and i'll just trace out this shape adding half inch seam allowance to the bottom part of this yoke my lace fabric is folded into four then I'm going to add half inch seam allowance to the bottom part of the yoke, half inch. So I added half inch seam allowance to the bottom part of the yoke and this is how it's looking. 